do some sort of damage, but not managing to, losing some forces there. Meanwhile, Connor not going to put a base at the upper right-hand position, going to get his third base up while Iris still on one. Man, he needs to... I hope, for his sake, he's putting down a command center somewhere. Apparently not. He's really in a whole position now. Scans a location, most likely trying to... Spot whether Quanta put down any sort of hidden tech in the next expansion when he was inside of his main. But now a lot of Hydra is going to run right inside of the next expansion. Quanta now in a beautiful position to break Iris here. Iris does not have a lot of forces. And with his very small force of Marines, I think Quanta is going to be able to break the main. Not at, no natural expansion for him to break. Quanta is just going to be able to attack all these forces. He should be able to take down the supply depot. Supply depot not going to be repaired. In the only time, there's a science facility of all things ready in play for Iris. Iris at the very least has a force that he can, he has a sh small choke that he can at least defend. Meanwhile, I'm going to put some medic marines at that upper right hand and that's pretty much open. No forces running to defend. So yeah, command sir, I'm sorry, the hatchery going to get cancelled. You know, a bunker be put inside of the main for Iris. Iris still in a horrible position. I think he, not quite sure if he still has decided to try to build something. Meanwhile, Iris now going to get those medic marines right behind the natural expansion. There are a few hydras there. Quan, Quan always definitely wants to be able to defend this. A few Hydralists, several Marines going to meet them firsthand, but I think the Marines are in far too small number after Micro pure, perfectly there by Iris. You know, Micro them pretty well against those Hydras. Not enough Hydras to defend, only two Hydras still at the defense. More <laughs> drones there standing around idle trying to mine, but more Hydras running into running back to reinforce, and these Medic Marines are going to be able to take down before men to do any sort of economic damage. At the very least, they're going to be able to engage some Hydras and get some Hydra kills. Also standing on that high ground. Take, taking full advantage of that, pushing those Hydras back. Beautiful. Meanwhile, Lurka is now going to run right inside of the main. They're going to... Oh, man. Camp Reddit's on the choke. Several Marines take instant fire. More Marines take fire and die and go inside the bunker that's left. Meanwhile, I think those Iris has managed to get some kills done. But meanwhile, his main is being penetrated by Hydras and several Lurkers. They managed to burn themselves. There are science vessels in play, though, but not enough forces to really... He doesn't have much in the way in force to really use that detection that science provides. He has one tank in play. If he doesn't have CJs, he's going to be in trouble. Meanwhile, Iris dropping some forces inside of Quano's main. Going to be, try to attack while he's being attacked. Spots the Queen's Nest. Going to start by attacking the... Never mind attacking the drones. He's going to kill the overlords first. Meanwhile, a lot of lurkers inside of his own main. He kills off the lurkers at the north. Meanwhile, tries to desperately save his SCVs. Does a lot of damage in all sides. Meanwhile, has a lot of Marines inside of Quano's main. Going for the spire here that's been put down. There are Hydras and Lurkers coming to defend this. As long as these Marines manage to do as much damage as possible, kill some drones even more, they're going to attack some more. They're not going to be able to take down the spire, but overall has done a pretty decent amount of damage, some economic damage. Meanwhile, Iris has cleared up his own base. Quanra again trying to pick up the upper right hand, or, yeah, I believe he is. Iris should really be thinking of putting down another base because Quan already going for Hive Tech on two bases. A bit risky. He needs to... Honestly, I feel he should establish his upper right hand, but I think he feels he has an advantage. He definitely killed some SCVs. You can see the SCV situation is very, very bad for Iris there. Heavy damage done by Quan, despite the fact that he lost his lurkers. Siege tanks and Iris is not going to be able to afford to expand at this point, really. He's losing all those SCVs. I think was the killing blow here for Quanro. He's going to put down, he's going to get Hive Tech. He knows he's not going to be able to really support that Hive Tech beyond Defilers, but Defilers at this point really all he needs. He just needs to get some more force into the air. Those Science Vessels are not going to become too big a factor against those Lurkers, especially not when they run right into a huge number of Hydrasks. One sub Science Vessel needlessly dying there. More tanks being built, no siege mode. Merrick Marines is going to run south, engage those Hydralist tanks into support as well. Science vessel flying over them. There's no carapace up against full of those Hydras, but they definitely sur survive the Marine fire a lot better. No forces upgraded for Iris at this point. Definitely can't afford more Scourge coming in just to make sure they can finish off the Science vessel. Science vessel is going to go down. Yes, indeed. One defensive matrix managed to go down the Marine before anything else happens. So Iris at the very least is going to push Quanro back, but I'm not seeing him coming back into this game. He's going to try to push Quanro's natural expansion right now, but there are going to be Lurkers in play. S and a lot of Hydras coming in fairly soon. Defiler Mount coming in. It's, the Defiler's not going to be on the way to help him defend against this push by Iris. But Iris is going to go for an all-or-nothing attack here. And if this fails, that's going to be pretty much it. Lurkers, meanwhile, being planted in position. Try to catch those Medic Marines from behind, I assume. The Marines are not going to run south there. But a Hydra's coming in from the north. Tank's going to siege you up on the ridge. That's a little bit something Iris can do. He's going to be able to hold that ridge. 
as long as he fa doesn't follow those hydros down, he's not gonna run right into straight up into some workers. But he doesn't have does have one comset station and not many many scans. He's meanwhile gonna run, go for a sunken bust. Meanwhile, tanks are gonna be attacked by zerglings. Some of the tanks go down. Minute Queen's gonna be forced to run back, try to defend those barrel lurkers and the players. See, a scan goes off, but lurkers spread. I'm not quite sure of the scan spots. All oh, those tanks go down. Their Marines are all gonna go down. I think there's gonna be GG any minute now for Iris. Quandro, beautiful defensive play. I think Iris going for way too much at once. Going for something fantasy esque or Lita esque. Going just one base, everything. And his economy now absolutely in shambles. Not gonna be able to establish a base. To has a minor amount of forces, has a supply depot and a few medic marines, but that's not going to help him defend against all these forces that are coming up. Cracklings on the field at this point, some lurkers as well. Iris' is only chance at this point just push back. He has a science facility he's not even paying attention to. He's going to be killed before it manages to float away. And live, live, no. And Iris is only chance. Scourge coming in. He's going to at least prevent, to prevent his last science vessel. From getting killed, he needs that to detect against those lurkers. Just not gonna have enough scan. He needs to put down the natural expansion. His only shot here is to put down natural expa natural expansion and to hold Quanner back desperately to defend. He's still trying to build some forces. Still getting a bunch of gas up, so it means probably trying to keep his tech production up. But damn, on one base, it's so hard. More scourge flying in. Iris being very aggressive, running with more medic marines as alongside a science facility. But oh, that's it. That the follower in play. Medic marines are not gonna be able to do anything. No fire bats, no tanks. Dark Swarm coming up. Medic Marines are just gonna fall right here. Oh, Dark Swarm right on top of those Medic Marines. Iris definitely trying to micro those around to make that ineffective, but now he's lost his science vessel. GG. That is that. And Quanro brings us within one game. Wow. Iris, yeah, running out of his booth. He's gotta be frustrated. I mean, 2 0 ahead, and now 2 2. Quanro, one step for making an absolute comeback. We're going to see what happens here. Iris, as I've said, feel he did not need to go for anything funky, anything strange. He did, and he lost. Just went for something more standard. Just go into your one racks into expansion or your two racks into expansion or just some uber racks build or even a mech build and go for it. Just... Don't, doing funky things. I've seen so many turns, you know. Okay, I have an uber advantage. I go for some uber, some early weird ass build that might catch the other guy off guard. And when it doesn't, you crumble. And I've seen so many players do that, and it's just ridiculous. Jadong has done it for crying out loud. <laughs> Showing you that some guys of absolute uber skill have done that and failed absolutely. So Iris is just going to have to bring himself back into this. Two games where he played mostly standard StarCraft, he won. Two games where he tried to go, one game where he tried to go for something very funky, another game where he tried to go for something funky, he lost. So there you go. Fifth set, deciding match coming up next, guys. Ranching out, GG. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed.